warm welcome to all of you reading the recording of 3rd of February's God's blessing. Yesterday we spoke about Amrit Vela, a very special time, an auspicious time, where Amrit Vela, the time of our meditation and the time which is the Sangam you're going on and the quality of our thoughts and a connection with the Supreme Creator, everything becomes very powerful at that time. And today God is talking about something else. He's saying from that time onwards, from Amrit Vela till the time you go to bed, there are certain codes of conduct which you as a soul shall follow. Now that when we do, we are safe from any kind of mood swings or any kind of impurities in our thoughts which cause the mood swings and of any kind of dukha or any kind of sadness. Let's get into these for a bit. So in today's blessing, God says, may you become a most elevated being by doing everything according to the codes of conduct from Amrit Vela to night time. The codes of conduct of the confluence age make you elevated. See the world as in when we talk about the world, the Kalyugi world, people are sleeping late at night, getting up late in the morning, having breakfast at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, not even first focusing on meditation, not even meditating, not even some of them don't even do yoga, some of them don't even take care of, take care of their mental or physical health. Then we immediately get onto our phones, we get onto our uh, different activities such as newspapers or listening to what is happening in the news or what is the work today or what is the job today which uh, my boss has sent me and we straight away get onto that and we skip the connection with the Supreme Creator. That means we skip our connection with the one who is supposed to inbuilt or program our mind so as to do the work according to him today. Just like every morning when we put on our laptop, we boot it. So there's a process of booting, which you cannot see, but it is going on at the background. So because of that, the laptop is able to give you services. And we have come on this earth plane to give our services and the return of the services for some is financial wealth, peace of mind, happiness, love, joy. But when we don't program or let the Supreme Creator not program us in early in the morning to waking up early in the morning and then reading the spiritual knowledge or meditating and reading spiritual knowledge and then having the right amount of food and the right quality of food at the right time to thinking about Supreme Creator from time to time in between every hour till the evening and if you are not doing that, and if you are not imparting that spiritual guidance and knowledge to other souls, then we are not Purushottam Atmas. That means we are not following the codes of conduct. So God says, therefore, such souls are called Maryada Purushottam, who the codes of conduct of confidence age make you elevated. Therefore, such souls are called Maryada Purushottam because they are de-virusing, they are decluttering themselves and they are helping other souls also to declutter their behaviors, their nature, their pattern of thinking, their activities, their talk, everything changes. Their eating habits, sleeping habits, character, everything changes. And they become Purush Uttam, Uttam Purush. So the easy way to protect yourself from the Tamagoni environment, Tamagoni means anything which is impure. Environment is not just, you know, some dust or some muck or garbage kept around your house or in the city or on the road. That's not the Tamagoni we're talking about. We're talking about the environment of the mind of each and every soul. The bhavana or the feelings in each and every soul is Tamagoni. That means impure. And vibration is to follow the cones of conduct. The easy way to protect yourself from the Tamagoni environment, whether it's in your office, whether it's in your house, whether it's in your business or in the environment, in the society, and vibrations is to follow the cones of conduct. So suppose you have not meditated early in the morning. And you go to your office and you face a difficult situation. Your mind is heavy with the load of yesterday. You come with those same feelings without resolving them with meditation, without clearing your mind with meditation. And you sit in your office and then there's some other situation on top of it. So you're overloaded. What will happen to you? Will you be able to follow the codes of conduct? Will you be able to be peaceful and righteous and uh, tolerant and non-anxious? No. So you will create another sin for yourself. And that's what God is saying that how will you protect yourself from the vibrations? So those who stay within the line of codes of conduct are safe from having to work hard. Work hard to do what? Resolve situations, stay in peace, 
stay blissful stay happy throughout the day and it doesn't become for difficult for them to be in peace in happiness in joy and contentment you have received the codes of conduct from bab dada for every step you take that means eating sleeping thinking walking talking sitting getting up meeting people communicating with people making new relations you have received the codes of conduct from bab dada for every step you take and by taking every step according to those you automatically become maryada purushottam that means you know when to stop when not to cross the line in your thoughts words and actions so that you don't fall into the wrong clutches and people don't look down upon you so if you cross the line people look down upon you and they don't give you love and blessings and uh, many more things and then you feel lonely let your life be according to the codes of conduct from amrit vela that means early morning 4 o'clock to night time and you will then be said to be the most elevated being that is one who is most elevated of all ordinary human beings so the ordinary human beings are acting in a different way and you change your habits with the power of meditation it cannot be done without the power of meditation that means without connecting to the supreme light supreme power the supreme being over here you cannot receive that power and that's what you learn in brahma kumaris because if it was supposed to be done alone then many people would have just thought and become disciplined many people would have thought and become patient or had patience or tolerance but it doesn't happen right why because our connection with the creator the light the supreme being the infinite being is not there so how do you do that is what you learn in brahma kumaris do visit it and learn this beautiful art for free from shanti